Joburg's hottest breakfast show. Together with a whole lot of little caricatures is the fabulous and wonderful Jonathan Shapiro, otherwise known as Zapiro. Welcome, welcome Yay. to the studio. All right, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah thanks so much for, for coming along. We know you're Cape Town based. Yeah, That's I've been up here for my sort of annual, it's, it's become an annual thing because this is the, the new 22nd book. one. So every year I come up to Joburg and I get to, it's actually such a nice thing for me to do, see the whole Joburg vibe, which is very different from the Cape Town <laughs> very vibe. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> and much vibier, so to speak. But it, it is, uh, it's, it's something I do and I do media and I do launches and I do, it's, it's great now. I meet a lot of people. 22nd book. 22nd, it's actually wow. not my 25th book, my 22nd annual because I've done yes. three other books as well. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Hasta la Gupta, Gupta, baby. Hasta, Hasta la Gupta, baby. Hasta yeah. la Gupta. <laughs> I mean, listen, because you're Cape Town based, it's actually quite amazing that you're so up on the pulse of everyday kind of living because you're actually usually a little bit slow, let's be honest. <laughs> you know, when I was working at the Sowetan uh-huh. in uh, between uh, 1994 and, well, for 11 years from, from 1994, it was it was one of those things that I really really had to do. You know, in those days, the newspaper was so kind of more separate the the readership than than they, I was working for Sowetan and I was also working for the Man and Guardian uh, initially, and then yeah. others, then Sunday Times and all that. But I'm I mean here there I am living in Cape Town, in right, a, for the you know, a whitey suburb in in the newly changing South Africa, working for Sowetan and really wanting to keep in touch with Joburg, with Soweto, with what people are thinking about and all that. It's bloody hard. But, uh, yeah. but I actually, I loved it. And what, 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 what gave me the biggest kick was coming up to Joburg and meeting people in Soweto. And then they would, and, and then I'd be introduced as Zapira and they'd do like this double take and they'd say, ah, you're Zapira. <laughs> I thought you were black. Exactly, yeah. And I was, and, say, and I was thinking, okay, maybe I am keeping in touch. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> but uh, what a, uh, I mean, an extraordinary career you've had so far. Uh, and I wanted to, uh, my biggest question is, what is the edge? How, how do you know if you're on the edge before somebody really has a proper go at you, we'll we'll talk about those people who have had a go yeah, at you. Yeah, it's it's not something that is that there's not there's nothing absolutely finite about it. That's what's risky. Um, yeah. if, if you are like me and, and like many other people in luckily this country, has many people who are prepared to push those boundaries right to the edge and sometimes beyond. You know that <clears throat> sometimes you're going to be you're going to be pushing beyond what other people think is okay and sometimes you may actually overstep a mark that you you may look back and say oh I, I slightly pushed it or i didn't know enough and th- that can happen mm-hmm. but more times than not if you feel like you just need to keep pushing you'll be you'll you'll be vindicated i mean there's a there's a there's a book about the issues around Pravin Gordon and the Rogue Union. There's a there's a cartoon, sorry, okay. about the the, and it's just before this book. But it was Pravin Gordon fighting Tom Moyani as a sort of SARS wars thing with the KPMG report that's fizzling and sputting as a, a lightsaber that doesn't work. And Pravin Gordon is the Jedi Knight with a fully straight yeah, uh, yeah. lightsaber. And um, they, they, you know there were people who wanted me to change that cartoon at one of the, one of the papers I was working for because they, they, it was not what the paper was saying, but other people were saying it, and I was keeping track of what was and and, and I was vindicated later for of reality. Yeah, and I mean that's the wonderful thing about it. I mean we all sit there and wait for our Zapiro cartoon because you are you are saying things that. In, in such a brilliant way, I must say. But you're saying things that I think a lot of people think, but are too scared to say it. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, I think part of what one does as a cartoonist is to articulate the things that are in the public mood and find ways to say them that are that are you know based on based on what people are thinking, feeling, observing. But uh, it's also there's a sort of lateral thinking thing when you do cartooning or stand up comedy or lots of, lots of other th- Interventions where you may, you're taking A and you're taking B and you're creating something that is that's got an element of surprise and twist. So people think that's what they were exactly saying, but it's it's taken a hell of a thing to get. It's almost looked like it was there already. Yeah, but it but it's it, it's taken that other like the five six seven hours work to actually get to that simple thing. It, I mean, it's an incredible art. 
It really is. You know, when you sit there and, you, you know, we sit there and we look at them and we say, oh, geez, another brilliant Zapiro. And, and as you say, you know, it took you six, seven hours to sit there and work out and the intricacies and make sure that you sort of on pulse with, with uh, everything that's going on. Since you've started, I mean, we live in, in a country where, where, I mean, daily, <laughs> hourly, you, you, your, uh, a lot of your material is just there waiting. For, they're just going, okay, what are they going to cock up now? Oh, I've got another angle. Uh, it must be very exciting, but it must also be very daunting. Yeah, but uh, uh, 10 years ago, let's say 10 years ago, 12 years ago, 15 years ago, that was, that was easier to work with that with that sort of cycle as these things kept happening but if you think about what's been going on for so long now uh, and and remember i come from the you know i was working the apartheid era so i was working about against the corruption there and yeah. of course the evil of apartheid and all and i got, and you were arrested sure i was i was actually arrested a few times but i was detained without trial mm-hmm. as well um but yeah and, and so that you know and i i i always have to there's a bit of a re- reality check. Uh, you know, now we've we've got corruption, and we've got corruption on a massive scale, and we've got the special circumstances of state capture. But the, these circumstances have been escalating and escalating and escalating. So 10, 12 years ago, when when all this material was sort of falling mm. into my lap, I was saying, brilliant, fantastic. Now, I've done that cartoon. I've done another one. I've done like 15 on the same issue. It actually, I'm sure you you also feel it in in the news cycle when you're dealing yeah, it's with something. It's hard to come up with stuff. fresh angles. Yes, and you don't want to keep bludgeoning people with saying uh, they're, they're corrupt, they're corrupt, they're corrupt. This one's corrupt, that one's corrupt. Uh, I think there isn't there's a new thing now within the new South Africa, and that is, um, I mean, state capture is already a couple of years old. The idea of it, but the idea that these people from these blue chip companies in 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 Europe and America, uh, McKinsey, SAP, mm-hmm. uh, KPMG. You know, you, trillion, or the, you know, you you see these these guys are as corrupt as the, the people that we've been talking about for for a few years now. So that's also making waves even outside of this country. Yeah, very yeah. much so. Before we talk about the book, Jonathan, let's talk about your your figurines. Um, they are spectacular. I mean, who makes them for you? Um, there's a sculptor animator who lives in Johannesburg. His name's Judd Simontov. He's absolutely brilliant. This is very much a secondary thing for him. He, he's, he's involved in, in sort of game gaming stuff. He does all th- all sorts of things for. I don't know. It's a world that I don't have any idea of. But all yeah. I know is that he can do this stuff absolutely brilliantly. I mean, they, they are they are magnificent. And I, I would assume, are they limited in numbers? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, you know, we we we're not sure whether we should perhaps make make new editions of them. Some of them are, are, are coming to the end of the ones that we've done. Uh, we do have some possible ideas. I'm not going to say exactly who, but uh, yeah. we, we have some possible ideas to make a, 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 next, a next series. We, we're thinking about that. But in the meantime, I'm most excited about the most recent one, yeah. uh, which oh, uh, some of the people in Joburg, I've, I've brought them up, and they have, some of the people have seen. We've got here Juju, we've got Mediva, and we've got uh, Showerhead, got Showerhead uh, yeah, Zuma. But uh, Archbishop Tutu, I mean, that's beautiful. Walking on water as I've drawn him for the last uh, <laughs> uh, you know, quarter that of a century. Just, I mean, the and, nose uh, is yeah, just and, hysterical. And he was very excited. He he lives in Amanus now. He's in oh, okay. retirement. And I had to get past all his gatekeepers and things. And I, I, I have said that it's, it's the closest I've ever come to to saying, do you know who I am? I, I've, I've, I've I've never, I've never actually said that to anyone. I never will. But um, they, they, they had no idea. These are new people. I know mm. all the people around him for for years, but there was a new person, and she, she had no idea about the cartoons and about the fact mm. that I actually know him and I'm a friend of his and all that. Hadn't seen him because he wasn't well. So I, you know, I managed to sort of piggyback on another engagement. I said, uh, somebody eventually said, oh, it's you, you know, let, let, we'll let you through. And uh, there he came towards me and he said, there he is. And he draws me with a big nose. And at that, <laughs> at that moment, I, 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 I held up the figurine and the, the photographer you know, got, snapped me and the arch leaning in with our big noses towards each other and the little figurine in the middle. And he, you know, he laughed and his eyes lit up as it does. He's a one. Know. Is he okay? I mean, we know he, he's um, not well. Yeah, no, he was. He, he was a good. He was good he was, spirits. I was. Uh, it was qu- quite shortly after a bout of of something quite serious. Okay, and I, I gather he's. I gather he's well, and you know, he's in remission and all that. And he's just a. You know, he's one of those special people that we have. Yeah. No, 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 for sure. Do you, uh, over the years, uh, you must have received a tremendous amount of. of uh, 
interesting male and hate male. Have you ever feared for your life? Um, I'm afraid so. Um, I have had uh, I've had a, a couple, a th- sort of three bouts of, of three s- bouts of death threats, not three individual death threats. So serious. Well, I mean, I suppose <clears throat> you know you, you you do touch some. Well, all of your subjects are very very. Uh, I won't say controversial, but they're very thought provoking. Uh, yes, very very thought provoking. The the one that I always stood out when you drew. Uh, President Zuma with the, the shower head or whatever. I just sat there and went, whoa, this is a storm waiting to happen. That must have garnered a huge reaction. The, not, I mean, not the shower head initially by itself. Uh, that was a really strange and interesting thing because what happened was during his rape trial, of course, he made that, that famous statement mm-hmm. in, while he was in, in, being cross-examined. Um, and he was acquitted, but he said these weird things. And, you know, why, why did you, uh, I mean, what, what did you do after this supposed consensual sex uh, uh, with, with, somebody, with somebody he knew to be HIV positive? Mm-hmm. He had already admitted that he knew she was HIV positive. He had a shower. Uh, why? To lessen his chance of infection. And he was head of the National AIDS Program when he was deputy yeah. president. So that's, that's a ridiculous answer. Everybody, the ears pricked up. I then as he got acquitted i did a cartoon where i attached to his person all the sort of physical manifestations of the weird things that he said so he had he, uh, he had the machine gun and with a, with with little sperms in the shape of his head coming out of the machine gun <laughs> he, he had a he had a little short skirt viewfinder on that machine gun because he said you know she was wearing a short skirt horrible attitudes that a short skirt meant she's inviting whatever yeah. uh, sex even Worse rape, what I don't know, um, and all the kind of Zulu culture which he made up as he went along. The, all the Zulu culture experts said there's nothing like like, you, that, like yeah. you have to you have to leave you can't leave a woman in a state of yes yeah, right. mean, that's what he said. I I'm know, not, I'm I not know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the, then of course he had the shower and the first shower thing it said AIDS prevention. Anyway, I did this cartoon. He was also, his face was like a pig because he was, it said MCP and proud of it. And so that's the cartoon. He also had baby oil in his, in his pocket <laughs> and he was also naked from the waist down, although you couldn't actually see the dangly bits. But that's a, so it's, um, I mean, it, it's it was a, a pretty rough go, yeah. cartoon, pretty rough cartoon. Uh, and he, my credibility is intact, he says, as he walks out of the courtroom. So then uh, the next thing, he, su- he sues me for Yes, fifteen million rand. Yeah. Three three cartoons, five million rand apiece. That cartoon was one of the three. Yeah, one of the three. Uh, the the last of the three that he sued me for. So the next cartoon, I do a thing saying, uh, he he's, he's bursting into my studio saying, uh, I'm suing you for damage to my reputation. I say, would that be your repu- Would that be your reputation as a disgraced chauvinistic demagogue who can't control his sexual urges and he thinks the shower prevents AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> and and did you have to for, ex- explain that to him? <laughs> for for that cartoon, I left all those other things off, including the shower. And the funny thing was because it didn't work in that cartoon for me, but then but readers a, a bunch of readers said to me, "Where's the shower?" <laughs> they didn't say, "Where's the baby oil?" "Where's the machine gun?" "Where's?" It? And I thought, "That's it." They identified it as the as the as the fixture, so yes. to speak. Yeah. And, Amazing. And, yeah, so the next drawing, that child was on, on, on until he became president. Then I sort of lifted it off and had a, a calibration. If, uh, you know, if he did good stuff, it starts to float away. Bad stuff it looked it like it was going to... Yeah. And then eventually it came back with, as about the size of the studio. So, so, and, and, so I mean, he, he sued you. Did he sue you in a personal capacity or the, the publications? And then, then it all fell away. He sued me in his personal capacity. Okay. Uh, unlike, for example, what happened with after the, the spear with Brett Murray, who, by yes. the way, was a, a year below me at school and we were thick as thieves and in fact we were watching the <laughs> spear proceedings in my house on tv together so yes <laughs> at, at the, how funny yeah no we, we know each other very well um but but that in that case the anc sued uh, brett murray and the gallery the goodman gallery and the um, city press for having it on the on the site yes. in 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 my case and in the case of all of the the people who got sued in 2006 yeah it was not just me but it was a bunch of people in media for both reporting and commentary mm. and it was 
uh, 63 million rands worth of charges, but mine was a quarter of the whole thing. So for 15 million, he, he yeah. went after you. Yeah. And then, uh, no, by the way, Dar- uh, D- Wackhead was, yeah. was, was also sued for a smaller, oh, a, a, a smaller piffling amount. little amount of about 6 million. But uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I always uh, I tell him, nah, you, you, uh, you're a got, baby, baby. You only got sued for 6 million. <laughs> yeah. uh, but he got sued for the song that he did. Um, a parody. Uh, yeah, 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 a parody yeah. song. So it's a, it, it, was a, it was absolutely bizarre. That case went for six years. Yeah. And it what kind of pressure does it put you uh, you under? Well, the first time the sheriff, uh, the first time the sheriff arrived at my house, that was kind of where I, I you know, th- there was sort of reality in that sheriff arriving at the house with, you know, he comes to the door and he's in a, like a uniform and everything. He, he says, "Are you the are you Jonathan Shapiro?" I said, "Yes," and he said. Um, like I don't know, look, there's this thing. Zuma wasn't president yet, but the, this lawsuit, this long lawsuit with all the stuff from Jacob mm-hmm. Zuma, and you know, so my my my, it felt like my stomach fell through the floor for about two three minutes, and after that, I said, "What the hell?" And then you know, the next day, I did the cartoon with a reputation. So uh, I'm not, I don't, it didn't, oh, it didn't phase me. Phase by the time by the time that that sheriff arrived, the third time with the different summons, a couple of years later. In 2008, I did the Rape of Justice cartoon. Mm-hmm. And when the, I saw the same guy arrive at the door. And I said, um, <laughs> I'm going I'm I'm to be, I said, I said I'm, this is verbatim. I said to the sheriff, oh, is that asshole suing me again? <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he couldn't help himself. <laughs> he just cracked a bit. He tried, you know, like in Monty uh, Python when the guy's like in uniform, yeah, like holding their, their, their leg. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, six years or whatever, and then he dropped all the charges. Uh, well, no, well, the, you see, the, 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 the other lawsuit then went for four years, and that was a much bigger one. The Rape of Justice one was really serious because that was just before, it, it culminated, uh, four years of that was just before Mangaung, and his lawyers were telling him, you've got to drop this, you've got to drop They wanted me to apologize, I said no. They wanted to, to split the cost, I said no. They wanted me to, to and they, eventually the lawyers said, you, you can't because it's going to bring all this stuff Mangaung, up. Yeah, yeah. So they dropped that, and shortly after they dropped, they the, dropped other the other one. Have you met him? I've been sort of yay close to him, uh, you know, just uh, a few meters away. But I didn't want to go and introduce myself um, because he was at the time he was suing me. After I've, I've spoken to him at a press club gathering, and he and he got a hell of a fright. It was I enjoyed that when 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 I said I'm Z- I'm Zapiro, you're suing me. You say you support freedom of expression. Why? Why are you suing me? You're the politician. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And he I. The, the the most amazing thing was so so that's the closest I've come to actually meeting. He sort of looked at looked me in the eye from about uh, ten meters, and he said, "I don't exactly know." He actually did those that kind of like waffle waffle oh, kind of okay. squirm thing, and <laughs> now, nobody actually remembers the answer. But I did ambush him one one more time on another radio show when he sued me the second time, and that time he said something fantastic. He said, "I looked. At, I said, why are you suing me again?'" I asked you this question, you know, a few years ago. Why are you suing me again? You say you believe in freedom of expression. He said, "I saw your cartoon. You are in, invading my dignity." Invading my dignity. So I put that on the back of my book. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're running out of time, unfortunately. Your yeah. book is is out, Sapira Hasta la Gupta, baby. Uh, state capture. I mean, it, it's it's frightening. It's that, frightening. What is, what's happening? What's it, happened? It's a sort of that good and evil thing. I've got Pravin Godan as the zoominator that came out of another cartoon that I did, and that Hastala Gupta baby went really. It, it, people loved it when I put it in the first cartoon, so yeah. I made that the title. And uh, yeah, it's at all the exclusive books and and other bookshops, and it's um, and uh, published by Jakana, and um, it's uh, it's it's been it's been really amazing, sort of being almost in the Saxon world vicinity, <laughs> yeah. and right there, and speaking to people from from here, and it's just been. Yeah. Is there a Shabin there? Of course, there's a Shabin. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, you mentioned the book. Of course, it'll be available um, in all good uh, stores as well. Um, your figurines, you say, in some of the. Uh, let's we're just having a look here. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, this is. I've got a picture. You show me a picture of um, of Jonathan meeting with um, <laughs> Julius uh, Malema um, and the figurine. Now, this, the figurine is is because when I saw it, I said, "You got to make a new one because he's lost a lot of weight now." Yeah, no. The, the first <laughs> thing he said, I mean, I, I kind of ambushed him as he came off the stage at the Maverick, uh, the Daily Maverick gathering, and. Um, and he was. This is the actual moment when he he, he, he sort of was, was me. He said, "Ah!" Oh! And he was very great sport. And then I 
like held this thing up. He laughed again and he said, yeah, you must make a new one. He said, look at me, look at me. I was, <laughs> so no, no, I, I sympathize. I've also lost weight, but I, I, I've been, we were sort of separated. There were a million people. I, I, I definitely am not making a new one because, you know, this this is the version of... Of what it was, yeah. Th- this is the one that came. And he's doing that, that shower, that, that, that shower gesture. Because that was funny. I you know, woke up one morning and there he is on the front page of the Sunday Times and, I, and he's a target of mine, of course, but he's doing the shower because he's now attacking Jacob Zuma with that shower gesture and singing that song, you know, shawara, whatever. Yeah. Shitty one. No, not no, that's shitty Jacob one. The shower, shower man is giving us trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, last couple of ones. Um, you know, so, yeah, so you asked yes. me where, yeah, these, these the are. Figurines, yeah. They, the figurines, yeah. The figurines are available on, on yeah, the Zapira.com, uh, my site, and you get the Zapira Collect collectibles that's with what they are but they're also in some of the exclusive books and and they're, they're well. around and about yeah what about i mean having a go at, at like the musi maimani's of the world or whatever or do they just keep themselves too cl- i know you have a go at them yeah but i mean i mean, one of my favorite cartoons in the book is a is a nice uh, i don't know if i can find it while i'm uh, while i'm chatting and and not go mute but if i can i will yeah it's it's a uh, it's, here we go i actually got it because uh, you know there would be a lot of people who would sit in the, around and go but hold on a second he's just having a go at the anc and no. No, 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 no. I, do, I do a lot. Of, look, obviously, the ANC are the people in power and the people who, you know, but uh, <laughs> but that that one is my favorite of the recent Driving Miss Helen. Driving Miss Helen and, and <laughs> you know, she says, drop me off at my disciplinary, Moosey, and wait outside. He, he, she's in the back. He's he's the leader, but, you know, he's got gritting his teeth. And uh, can you, you know, can you imagine that relationship oh. between. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, uh, you know, no, no, I do. And by the way, um, I hear things about Moosey that uh, I've just been hearing that he's a little bit of a. A, 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 a bit weird on religion. He's actually a creationist. So, yeah, expect something. Okay. No, I know, but I mean, a priest, but creationist, please. What? Uh, <laughs> Adam's, Adam's ribs and all that? Please. Five. <laughs> How old is the world? 6,000 years? Come on. We had a dinosaur in here. Let's ask him. <laughs> Let's ask him. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yeah, go, Sai. I just want to know, nothing to do with cartoons, but what do you think is going to happen next month at the ANC and East, uh, elective conference? You know what? I've, it's, it's, that's one of the things people ask me so many things about, like what is going to happen, and, I'm, and, I've, and I've actually come to the, 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 the understanding that I am not at all a crystal ball gazer. Yeah. I'm actually trying to really, like... What do you hope will happen? What do I, okay, that's a different story. Yeah. Uh, I actually hope the Blooming ANC will fracture badly. I don't love anyone there. I've definitely, and Koza Zana Lamini Zuma is an utter disaster. The connection with Zuma, so that is totally off the charts crazy. Cyril, wow. 20 years ago, I had faith in Cyril. I do not have faith in Cyril yep, at all. Here. So, Lindiwe, come on. There's no good. Zueli Mkise, please. There's, there's no good ANC candidate they they have they screw themselves when they put Jacob Zuma as their candidate in 2007 they knew from around about 99 2000 2001 that he was actually corrupt and now it's all a matter of spin and damage control so mm-hmm. i'd actually like to see the ANC fracture and i'd like to i'm you know, i'm very interested even though my my Corsi party is probably small i just want to see more real people of integrity outside of the ANC let's see what happens when there's pressure when there's pressure even the parties that I don't love like the DA and the EFF I want to see more and more pressure on the ANC yeah. more fracturing and then maybe we can come out of this mess yeah as well we all wait uh, in anticipation for the uh, December conference for the ANC Jonathan Shapiro thanks very much for coming to join us brilliant brilliant to meet you and uh, have you in studio and your insights and carry on doing what you're doing because I think it all gives us a little bit of hope as well great thanks and for a bit of a me. smile too because we need that <laughs> yeah that's yeah. for sure Great. There we go, wrapping us up this morning. Uh, just to let you know, the uh, Movado Ladies Museum Classic Watch, 6,000 Rand. That is the latest bit. That is the bit that it's going to be. It is now closed. Okay. So nothing else uh, came in. We'll be back tomorrow for Hump Day Wednesday. And yeah, looking forward to that. Feels so much better today. It's incredible. Um, listen, enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. We'll be back. Take care. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. ciao. Zilberg's hottest breakfast show. Sasha Martinengo. Andy Levy. John Wallen. Simon Hill. Weekdays from 6 to 9. Hot 91.9.